Okay, we have here today another integral from the MIT integration meeting. This one's from 2012, problem number 11. And we're integrating from minus one to zero of this whole expression dx. Okay, I messed around with this one quite a bit on paper and I wasn't really seeing a really creative way or like a really fast way. I think one of the troubles you might have on this is doing this within a time limit. I believe MIT time limit is two minutes per integral. So what I did is kind of more of the brute force method on this. Let me know in the comments if you found any shortcuts or creative ways to do this. Okay, to start with, what I want to notice here on the numerator is you can just notice that the coefficients on this one, four, six, four, one, that matches a row in Pascal's triangle. And then that's also true of the denominator here. We put a one there, one, three, three, one. One, three, three, one would be the row above it on Pascal's triangle. And what that tells me is that the numerator and denominator are both just the expansion of a single term. So like for the numerator, for example, I can actually just write this as x plus one to the fourth. And because of the minus signs here, the denominator is not gonna be x plus one cubed, it's actually gonna be x minus one cubed. So we can just rewrite the integral this way. We'll put in the bounds and we can continue. And then at this point for my next step, what I did is a u substitution. What I wanted to do is simplify the denominator so then I could divide it into the numerator. And to do that for my u sub, I'm gonna just do u equal to x minus one. We can get a value for x, x is gonna be u plus one, and then of course taking the derivative on both sides, dx is gonna be equal to du. So when I plug a zero in for x here, our upper bound becomes minus one, and then when I plug a minus one in there, lower bound becomes minus two. And then for this x plus one, if we plug in a u plus one for x, we're gonna have u plus two in the numerator to the fourth, and then this is gonna become u cubed du. And then next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my numerator, I'm gonna expand this back out here, but now we have a two here instead of the one here. So it's gonna be really similar to what we have in our original, but with the two, we're gonna be multiplying a factor on these terms. And then from here, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my u cubed and we're just gonna divide it into each of these five terms. So let's see what we have when we do that. When I divide u cubed into u to the fourth, I'm gonna get just u. Then dividing eight u cubed by u cubed is just gonna give me an eight. Then here, I'm gonna get 24 over u. Here, I'm gonna get 32 over u squared. And then for the last term, we're gonna have 16 over u cubed. But now this is gonna be pretty easy to integrate. So I'll just integrate my u of u squared over two here. This eight, when we integrate, that's gonna be eight u. Next here, we're gonna have 24 natural log of absolute value u. Then 32 over u squared. This is actually gonna give me a minus in front here. I put in a minus and then this is gonna become 32 over u. And then for this last one, we're gonna have minus 16 over, we're gonna have a two from this, we're gonna have over two u squared, but then I can actually cancel a two with a 16 and we'll have an eight here. And we just need to evaluate this from minus two to minus one. Okay, now evaluating at minus one, we'll just plug that in. So minus one here, this is gonna give me a one half. This is gonna be a minus eight here. Then plus 24, natural log of minus one, absolute value, this is gonna give me natural log of one, but that's zero, so that goes away. Then here, this is gonna become a plus 32, and then here, this is gonna become just a minus eight. Then now to evaluate our minus two term, let's see what we have, well, a minus out front, so plugging minus two in here, this is gonna give me two squared four over two is two. This is gonna be a minus four plus 24, Natural log absolute value two is gonna give me natural log of two. Here I'm gonna get a plus 16, and here I'm gonna get a minus two. Let's see, I can cancel a two and a two here. Minus eight minus eight is minus 16. Here we have minus sign another minus 16 with a 32. That's all gonna cancel down to zero because we're gonna have 32 minus 32. So we'll cancel that, 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 and that. Oh shoot, something's wrong. Sorry, I made a mistake right here. Minus two times eight is gonna give me a minus 16. So let me fix that. That's gonna be a minus 16 right there. So let's see what I have left. We have our one half here. Here I'm gonna have a minus times minus plus 16. And then from right here, I'm gonna have a minus 24 natural log of two. But I can combine the 16 and one half and I'm gonna write that as 33 over two minus 24 natural log of two. And that's it. Okay, maybe not the most interesting problem here, just kind of a lot of brute force. Let me know if you found a better, more creative way to do this. So we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.